What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I am Allison. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that so you can see all the videos that I post and keep up with me. In today's video, we are testing out some new products. I am super excited to test them out. I'm super excited to see how they work for me. You guys are getting my full first impressions. First product we are testing out today is this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It is like a medium to full coverage. It's definitely buildable and it's just supposed to give you like a radiant glow. If you've been watching me, you definitely know that I am a full coverage type of girl. I love matte foundations, so this is definitely somewhat slowly venturing out of the box for me and just trying something new. I did order this from Ulta. Yeah, I order, ordered it from Ulta. It's $49. Pretty expensive. This is the actual bottle itself. It is very luxurious feeling. Um, it's not too heavy, but it has enough weight to where you feel like it's super important. You know? Definitely longer than what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like half this size and it does have the pump. So... And then I have some new concealers from Makeup Revolution. I was watching one of Jeffree Star's videos and he was testing this concealer out and he was kind of shook by the results. So that's kind of why I wanted to go out and purchase them and try them out myself. So thank you Jeffree for trying them out and I'm testing them out today. I did get three colors because I did not know which color was going to match my skin tone and I did order all of these online on Ulta.com these retail for seven dollars a piece super super affordable really excited about this little product right here so those are the products that we're trying out today if you want to see how they applied on my face how they worked out for me then make sure you keep on watching we're getting straight into this little try on first impressions tutorial does it look like it's gonna match <laughs> So I did buy this online. I think I already told you guys that. I don't know if it's gonna match my face, so we're gonna find out right now. I do love this bottle. It just feels so like chic, luxurious. I'm on Sephora's website and I just wanna kinda let you guys know what this foundation's supposed to do. It's a medium buildable coverage, up to 16 hours of lightweight, natural, fade resistant wear featuring full powered radiance to smooth the look of skin. The reason why I want to try this out is because during summer I don't want to wear like a full coverage foundation every day so I'm hoping that I like the finish of this and it gives me enough coverage to wear. I don't know. I just want to try it out. <laughs> we gotta get a couple pumps. Okay there it is. Oh this is pretty freaking orange. Uh oh. You guys see that? Pretty dark. It's very orangey. <laughs> and I got the shade medium 5 Valencia wow it didn't like look oh well, it's not uh, I don't know oh god I'm gonna look so orange well it's the only shade I have so we're trying it anyway I'm gonna do this side of my face first so we can see what the difference is I got my beauty blender nice and damp and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand I guess we'll just go one pump right now to see what we're actually going to need oh I'm doing two pumps <laughs> got some on my beauty blender. I always start like right here. Well, the color doesn't look too bad, I guess. Especially if, if it's in the summer, I'm gonna be like way tanner than this. Okay, we got this side of the face applied and it's definitely a little orangey, but I think in the summertime it's going to go really well. Now as far as the coverage, I mean it's doing a pretty good job as far as like not being a full coverage and it pretty much making my skin look really just kind of, it looks good. It looks really good. Here is this side with the foundation on, and then here is this side without the foundation on. So it does definitely cover up like your imperfections, things like that. I am liking the coverage so far, and I could even go in with more where I feel I need more coverage. But overall, my first impression, I'm actually really liking it. So let's finish the face off. Full face is on with foundation. I'm actually really, really liking this coverage. Now it is super orange on my skin, uh, which will be really good in the summertime. It's a little tan for me. 
let's bring it down my neck a little bit more but I am liking the coverage I like how it looks on my skin my skin just like looks like skin it's just a little too orangey tanny for me now the way that I like to set my foundation is just with a setting spray so I like to use Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray after I have applied it all over my face I just spray my face and then I just go back in with my beauty blender just pounce it all in and that's how I set my foundation no powder it works really well with my Fenty Beauty foundation that I use literally every single day. And I'm a super matte foundation type of gal. I don't feel like it's super like glowy dewy, but it definitely is a little bit different than a super matte foundation. And I'm kind of living for it. Other than me picking the wrong shade, oh, I am liking this NARS foundation. All right, so we're gonna move on to some new concealers that I wanna try out. These are $7, so I bought multiple shades to try to make sure that I find the right shade. Just wash them on my arm, and I'm gonna pick which one I'm gonna use. First one is C8. These came with plastic all over it, and I already took the plastic off. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swatch these three, and then I'm gonna swatch my shape tape that I use every day, and see which one kind of matches with that one. These seem to have a lot of coverage. So the middle one is C10 and then the bottom one is C7. C10 is almost like the color I could probably use that for some foundation. So I don't think we're gonna use that. Swatch my Tarte Shape Tape in light medium and see which one kinda is closest. This bottom one next to the Shape Tape might be the closest one. I think I'm gonna mix the top and the third one just because, why not? We're gonna go like that. I like how long the wand doe foot thing is. All right, so that was C7. Do a little bit of C8. Just to kind of balance them out. I've never tested out a new foundation and a new concealer on the same day and mix them together so <laughs> this is going to be quite the experience. Alright, I have a different beauty blender for my concealer and let's just start to blend this out. It's definitely full coverage. Once I blend out the concealer, I just go back in with my foundation blender, smooth out the edges. This concealer, wow, it has great coverage. I don't see any type of creasing or even creasing activity. I think it's just looking like so freaking good. Set my under eyes and I use Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. So we're just gonna do the exact same thing that I normally would using my Tarte Shape Tape. We're using an e.l.f. It's actually a highlighting brush, but I like to use it to set my under eyes. I just feel like it's a good shape for my under eyes. Let's set. I don't really do baking. I just kind of get some powder under here so it doesn't crease. I am like getting shook by this concealer. It's like one thing to watch somebody review it and watch them have a good experience and then it's another thing when you go out and get it yourself and kind of have a good experience as well and that's what's happening. I am feeling this concealer for sure. And then I go back in with my foundation sponge and just blend everything together. But wow, for $7, can you guys see a difference? Oh, I feel like it's bright. It's covering what I want it to cover. It's not creasing whatsoever. I'm kind of living. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to finish my face, finish my under eyes, and I will be back to kind of show you how it's been wearing throughout the process of finishing getting ready, putting on some bronzer, some highlighter, things like that. And we'll have our final thoughts on this foundation and makeup revelation concealers. We are finished with our entire face. What do you guys think about this makeup look? On my eyes, I'm using Pat McGrath, their new 
eyeshadow palettes and I do have this eye look filmed. I will leave that link to the video down below. Make sure you guys check it out if you're feeling this eyeshadow look, obviously. Um, but let me give you my final thoughts on this foundation and concealers. I surprisingly am living and loving this foundation. I don't think it's matching my face color right now at the moment, but I know that moving into summer and getting more tan, it's going to be a perfect shade for me and I think this is going to be my go-to foundation for this summer. I think it applied very nicely. I think my skin is just looking really seamlessly and flawless. It doesn't look too matte. There's a little bit of glow there. That radiance is definitely coming through in this foundation. I feel like it mixed very well with the concealer itself. I feel like how I set my foundation just using a setting spray and not using like a setting powder worked really really good. Good. I don't really see any creasing whatsoever. Now I am going to wear it for the rest of the day and I do have to see how it is going to wear throughout the day. Definitely not going to have my makeup on for 16 hours today, but I am very, very impressed with this foundation, especially considering I'm a full coverage matte foundation type of girl and I am definitely liking it a lot. I may, might even uh, hop onto Sephora and pick a lighter shade to wear, maybe for right now. Um, so it's giving my Fenty Beauty a little run for its money, definitely. Now moving on to the concealers. I am shook with these concealers as well. I can't believe for $7. Um, I don't know if I'll be purchasing Shape Tape in the near future when I do need to get a new concealer since I do have three. Um, yeah, there might be like a little bit of little tiny, tiny, not cakiness, like it might have settled a little bit, but for $7 for this concealer, like you really can't beat it. If you're looking for an affordable concealer, full coverage that doesn't really crease and works well with a translucent setting powder, go to Ulta and pick one of these up. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. I am so glad that both of these products worked out well for me today. I am super excited. If you guys have any questions about either one of these products, please leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this first impressions, testing new makeup, foundation, and concealer video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!